Nutritionist, your diet may look perfect on paper, but what about in the feed bunk? There is a crucial difference between the formulated diet and the diet actually consumed. On paper, everything works. However, in the field, ingestive behavior, palatability, and ingredient quality determine whether weight gain will occur or not. Feeds with an excellent chemical composition may exhibit low palatability. Certain byproducts, non-protein nitrogen sources, poorly fermented silages or silages with mold presence can drastically reduce voluntary intake. Furthermore, intake, more than composition, is the factor that determines whether the requirements will in fact be met. Even diets formulated at the lowest possible cost must consider ingredient acceptability by cattle, level of inclusion of additives or urea, moisture and texture of the mixture, intake differences among categories, breeds, and even individuals. Moreover, what works for a taurine animal may not work for a zebuine animal. The response to the same feed bunk can differ between a nelore and an angus. Therefore, the diet must be evaluated in the feed bunk and not solely on the computer screen. Monitoring intake, adjusting ingredients based on the group's response, and daily assessment of the mixture are measures that prevent performance loss and ingredient wastage. If the diet is not converting as expected, the answer may lie in the smell, texture, or even in the segregation of ingredients. Follow Santa Fe Agro Instituto to receive more content like this.